Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make stylized hairs for characters in Blender. I found this method in the web and I think it's very good, it's non-destructive and it's relatively very very easy. Too easy. So let's go. So in this method we are going to use this curve add-on for blender it's absolutely free and it's it's very good for making stylized hairs it's easy to make using this one the link for this curve add-on will be below in the description click on this one or just hit n and new beveled curve and right away we get this um, curved hair so for example I will create a UV sphere Re this will represent my head head of the model and then I hit G Z to bring it a little bit up and Let's say I want to place the hair here, so I will just hit RX 90 degrees and GZ bring it up till the key front to orthographic view front and, and we can just hit the tab to edit and we can place it here if you're running out of mm, out of not polygons but we need to subdivide it right to curve it more because it's definitely not enough for example for our purposes so just I will need to select these two and then go to segments and subdivide and yeah and we can bring it like that and it's looking pretty pretty good already For me, it was a little bit hard to control this Bezier curve since I'm a little bit new to Blender. I'm not new to 3D modeling, but I'm new in Blender. So this was a little bit hard for me in the beginning, but later on it's fine. Next, if you want to duplicate, just Shift D bring it here and and here yeah, we have the second one and we can edit it again like that this is just an example so I'm not going to try to make this perfect so why it's so cool and non-destructive because uh, if we select one of these curves and go to this tab and click on edit bevel we will get this thing now let me hide this quickly edit bevel and what this thing allows us to do is we can easily change the shape of this of the hair and for example when we duplicated it we can we can add a little bit of variation to to our hairs yeah the other thing that i wanted to show you
okay i'm in object mode uh, let me I unhide the sphere okay let me just delete this everything and again uh, another thing a very cool technique that i i i've seen in in one of the videos of danny mac who is very very cool um, blender youtuber he was using this technique and i'm going to show it to you in case you haven't seen this so he normally he does this uh, new beveled curve and and i also find it very cool so when we create the curve we will get this tab here and if we click we can we can change some things like bezier or nurps but i leave it bezier because i don't know what nurps is it but I don't know what's that. Uh, maybe I will need to, to check it someday, but I don't want. I'm lazy. Uh, I'm not lazy, but I don't want. So here we can uh, check square, and now we get this square shape uh, by default. And use subsurface modifier so it adds um, more resolution to it and next we can just hit no tip and uh, we get this weird looking um, tube by the way you can use it for any purposes if you want like for the uh, if you're making kind of a chair legs or something like that i think you can use it because can do it like this or yeah but this is not about it so why we did got rid of this tip because uh the animac is showing um a very cool technique so i wanted to share with you also with that because maybe you haven't seen that video and he's making that in in an old blender version so shift a curve and bezier and where is bezier i think it's yeah it was under this shape so hit let's hit this one bring it a little bit further from this and um, object data properties geometry and taper objects so we can just click here and select our curve this one or we can simply take the picker and click on this and we'll get right away we'll see the result so, so now uh, just moving this by moving this um, Bezier curve, we can change the shape of our hair strand. So hit tap to go to the edit mode, G, Y. and again y to move along axis s if you want to r z g so yeah G, Y, and I think this is looking really good. Hit tab again, and we can start placing it. So again, Shift A, UV sphere, G, Z on top, G, Z 
on top are um are uh, ah, x 90 degrees enter gx gz and yeah and we can start placing it if we want to so g g yeah by the way guys um if we want to add one more point here between these two as i showed you you can um you can click segments subdivide by but i i personally prefer to put this option into quick favorites so if you click here go to subdivide and right click and you can add it to quick favorites right click add to quick favorites so um if we now select these two points and hit q subdivide we'll get it right away here here in the option yeah and the cool thing about this is that after you placed it you can change the shape and it's amazing because it's it's non-destructive eh what have i done g yeah oh. yeah and of course you can go again and and edit select this to g g and we can add some and we can get something like this we can shrink it again yeah so endless possibilities with this and uh, when you placed all the hairs let's say shift d and you modified it a little bit let's say I placed everything I wanted uh, you can turn this shape into geometry it's very simple just select right click and convert to mesh and now it's a mesh mesh and if you hit ctrl f you can see that it's um, polygons uh, by the way another cool thing about this is that when you when you change this shape it's not creating n-gons it's making polygons um, automatically yeah so it's very very cool I don't know did I change this no I didn't convert so we can check how it works here yeah so you see it's creating it's updating the polygons itself for example if I delete this one um, it will this shape will have less polygons and it's making all the adjustments itself so it's very very cool so finish edit bevel yeah so this is it so when you create it uh, the shape you can again go and press ctrl 2 or ctrl 1 just to see how it looks subdivided and you will get exactly the sh same shape that you were working in uh, before converting it to, to the mesh.
In the end of this video I would like to show you what I did using this exactly this method and as you see it's looking not bad this is my first experience of using this method in Blender and before I was uh, experimenting with XGen in Maya with curves method in Blender and this was my first Time I was using this and yeah I spent a lot of time I must say that uh, making hair is uh, yeah not easy yeah so I spent on this about three or four days but um, I wasn't working eight hours a day I was working three to four hours a day something like that and I'm not good at hairs yet but I will be so you can see um, it's exactly the same so you can rotate you can move and do whatever you want so guys thank you for watching um, please let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video this youtube channel is my first ever youtube channel i did and it would be very interesting for me to know what you guys think and what you would like to see in the future more and of course if you like this video like it and if you want you you may consider subscribing and see you guys in next videos and bye bye